Hello everybody, Rob here for Avertoppy, and today I want to talk about the first two models that I have painted in over 20 years. So, I haven't painted any Warhammer in 20 years, and I thought a couple nights ago, I'm going to grab a couple models that I have. This one here um, was a free model that I got. And another one is a 20 year old Terminator. Um, but yeah, so I obviously did them as an ultramarine. Um, there are lots of mistakes on this, um, mostly due to the crappy condition of my uh, my brushes, which I have replaced. I got the um, things. It's oh, it was a, a a large set. It was like I think it's like twelve or fifteen brushes. And I got it for like ten bucks. So. But it was like, I think it's the Army Painter Mega Set that I got for 10 bucks. So, it's not too bad. It was on sale. I think it was for 90% off or something like that. Um, but yeah, so, these are both, paint, both these models you're going to see are painted with really crappy 20-year-old um, brushes as well. But yeah, um, I'm actually pretty happy with the way the gold turned out. Um, it's just some Nazrik yellow with a gray sear background. Um, I like the way the gun turned out with... The, the both thing to see balsil balsamic or yeah it's a, it's a very vinegary uh paint um whatever it is it's a great uh and then some avid um black templar um i used a wash with the gray sear on the purity seal to get that little bit of dirtiness there um yeah, I didn't have any browns, no steak bite leathers or anything like that. So I want to paint um, this here a better color later on down the road. Um, I'm gonna come. I don't know if I'm gonna come back and repaint this guy or not. Throw him on maybe some uh, chemicals and strip them and then redo them. Um, probably down the road I will, because there is this little marking here that I want to redo and actually highlight it and maybe do it another gold or white. Um, there's some other little spots I want to redo. Maybe one of the kneecaps as a, a special thing. Um, I want to obviously redo the entire belt and uh, the the pouches here. I guess the ammo pouch and the uh, pouch for what I'm assuming is for the pistol. Um, but yeah, I like doing it. Um, I didn't do the vents. I should have. Um, they're just blue inside. I'm gonna re I would redo that. I would uh, do them both either in the gray here, which I'm now realizing when I look from underneath, I missed with the wash. <laughs> you can see how clean it is in comparison. Um, I would want to redo this little strap. I don't know if you can actually see the strap there, um, right in here. Uh, you can kind of see it like just left of my uh, my fingernail there. Um, I'd redo that and do that with a black, a little bit of black. Same with it on this side. Maybe do some non-metallic metal like I did with the um, the metal parts here on the gun. Kind of do the vents, the inside of the um, the exhaust, I guess, for these things, uh, for the for the power pack. Um, yeah, I'm not big. I'm I'm not big on highlights. Um, just because I could care less about doing highlights. Um, I think I'd want to redo this when I've got one on either side. So maybe not do that. But yeah, um, overall, I think I, it turned out pretty good for a model that I haven't painted in over 20 years. So there's that. And then uh, there's this. So this is a 20-year-old Terminator. <laughs> um, as you can see, like, even the, the barrel's not drilled out or anything like that. I'm not that type of person. Uh, but yeah, did the same thing, did it in ultramarine colors, did a little bit of brushing to pull out the highlights for the kneecap, or the shin thing there. Got some nice gold going on with the, uh, on the belt, obviously the eagle, um, the left shoulder pad. Initially I did this as, an, as a white, but then I'm like, well, it should be dirty. So I gave it the same wash that I gave the purity seal, um, and then just kind of brushed it. Make it look like he's been constantly kind of brushing it off and cleaning it. Um, did the same thing with the gun that I did with the other one, but obviously got a little bit of extra, whoa, a little bit of extra detail over here. Um, got some nice black in the exhausts there. 
Um, the wash that I did was a, I think it's the Agrax Earthshade. Um, I ended up turning some areas black, which was kind of weird because it kind of clubbed up a little too much. So I think next time I'm going to maybe not do any shades and just let it sit and then come up with an idea of what to do. Do the Nuln Oil on uh, on the gun to make it kind of look a little bit better. Um, face is obviously red. Uh, it's a Flesh Terror's red. Um, overall, I like this. This one, not as good. I really like this guy more. Um, I do think it's funny that the newer model, if you look at them, are actually is actually taller. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. Um, I also magnetized the Terminator um, to try with my new table um, and my new plans for priming. I'm gonna get a cookie sheet. That way I can just, just keep them on there. And there you go. But yeah, that's the first two models that I painted in over 20 years. Um, I did order a combat patrol, a dun, 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 Tau combat patrol. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. Um, after that, I'll be ordering a Combat Patrol of Imperial Guard. Um, I have, I think, all the paints I need for that. Um, I'm trying to use um, multiple different ideas for these guys. So, for example, my Imperial Guard, or my Space Marines are mostly going to be white. Or, uh, sorry, Space Marines are mostly going to be blue. My Tyranids are going to be Leviathan, so that's that purple and white. Um... My Imperial Guard, obviously going to be that tan color, um, and green. And then last but not least, the Tau, and they're going to be bright red, so they're going to be the Farsight Collective. Because, um, yeah, I, I want to be a little different. And I noticed there's not many people doing Tau in videos. Um, I know they're not, you know, the most popular army in the first place, um, but at the same time I feel like, you know what, My, uh, maybe make myself a little niche do a collection of them. I like the whole greater good idea. And the fact that they're still bad guys. I mean, everybody in uh, 40k is bad guys, but they're just less bad guys. And the closest to good guys that you get in 40k, in my opinion, are the Farsight Collective, from what I've been reading. Um, but yeah, so the plan is that green and bay, kind of green and khaki Imperial Guard, obviously the blue and gold for the uh, Space Marines. A nice red and probably like a gray, a red and gray for the towel. And then the primary colors are obviously gonna be purple and pink for the um for the for the Tyranids once they finally come out, once we hear once they go on sale, basically. Um I was contemplating getting some, but then I realized they're completely refreshing the entire line. So my plan is to get the new box set when it comes out that'll have Imperial Guard or Space Marines and Tau, or Space Marines, and uh, Tyranids, and the plan is to obviously paint those guys up. Um, from what some people have told me, and from what I've been kind of hinted at, is if you get the largest box, it's basically going to be two combat patrols, one Space Marine combat patrol, one Tyranid Space, uh, one Tyranid combat patrol, because that's going to be the thing, right? They're trying to get everyone to get into combat patrol, so I think that's where we're going to go. And with that in mind, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. You could have been watching anything, but you were watching this. So thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.